Now, Nintendo wasn't the only um, only manufacturer out there with hardware news. In fact, there was a huge um, <sighs> that was uh, put out uh, with a lot of rumors for Xbox One hardware. Now, we've been talking for a while about Xbox having upgradable hardware, and then, um, you know, Phil Spencer threw that around and said, yeah, you know, this is what we definitely want to do. Only a few weeks later, I'm saying, no, we're really not thinking about doing something like that. Uh, <laughs> only to sit there and then end up when re- being really pressed about it, saying it's something we're open to, um, to seeing the new FCC filings for uh, new hardware and stuff like that. Uh, and then there was uh, actually a new set of rumors that were uh, released out. And this is actually covered in a huge um, article that was put up by Ars Technica about uh, when it came to Xbox One hardware, there's a, a set of, there's a set of, uh, uh, of new hardware sets. Well, there, there are new hardware sets and new configurations that are supposedly going to be probably announced. E3. The first one being the Xbox One Slim or Mini, which we've pretty much had rumors about and everybody's been predicting for almost a half a year now. Um, Now, that particular one is going to be a slimmer Xbox with a new redesigned slimmer controller. And that one is also going to be uh, have HDMI 3.0 out so that it's a 4K streaming capable device. Uh, That one... You know, it's like, okay, it's another streaming box. Fine, fine, whatever. But the other one that seems to be pretty interesting is the one that they call the Xbox One Scorpio. And this is the their quote-unquote more powerful system, more powerful system c- configuration, which is supposed to be uh, more powerful than the current PS4, supposedly four times as powerful as the, the current PS4. And that one isn't set to, be, to release out until 2017. Um, thoughts on that, gentlemen? Look, I'm sick of systems coming out that are supposed to be more powerful, but they are forgetting the key aspect, and that's the fucking games. <laughs> your games are what make your console. You can have a powerful console, whatever. If your games suck, then that's it. There is no ifs and look. I remember the Panasonic 3DO. I remember the Neo Geo. I remember the fucking Nintendo 64. As far as being, oh my, and the, no, not the 64. The Atari Jaguar. Powerful, futuristic systems. This is where the fucking video game industry is going. And oh yes, everything is just looking bright for the fucking future of gaming. And then what happened to those consoles? They didn't go anywhere because of the fucking games. So regardless of how powerful your console is, that does not matter. If your games are not up to par, if your games suck, if your games are not taking you anywhere, then your concentration is in the wrong fucking place. Thought Scream Mouse. Well, with me, the um, Xbox Slim, that's no surprise to me at all. We all knew that was coming because, uh, you, you know, I mean, they had uh, the Xbox 360 Slim as well. You know, so, I mean, I knew that was coming. Um, as for the upgraded hardware inside the, uh, the, the Slim, okay, so, you know, their uh, GPUs are faster or whatever. No, 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 no. Well, just a clarification for you. The Slim is actually going to be closer to the um – to the original Xbox One configuration, the only um, the only uh, updates hardware-wise is it's going to have is that it's going to have the better wireless communication, and it's going to have the um, uh, what's that the HDMI 3.0 out so that it'll do 4K uh, 4K media. Okay, so I stand corrected. So, but still, I mean, we all knew the Slim was coming. I mean, if you looked at the this looked, Zoom, it, yeah, actually. If, if you look at the Xbox One, it looks like a, a, a damn VCR out of the 1980s. I mean, Does it work? Yeah, it works. But Does it play games? You know, I mean, we, we all knew that that was going to happen. Can you play it without the Kinect? Huh? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person here, dude. But um, I knew the Slim was coming. That's no problem. Um, but uh, the, the Scorpio, uh, I... 
I, I, again, you know, I've already had to think about that. I think of, I'm a wrestling fan. Two Cold Scorpio. I've already, yeah, I, I've already uh, <laughs> gave my thoughts on on upgradable um, hardware with with Sony during Sony's uh, thing. Would you do better than this? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Just say I don't know. No. <laughs> it seems, uh, you know, again, like I said, I don't. I don't like the way the where the industry is going. Um, meaning, um, I don't like this 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 VR because it seems like everything now is is VR focused. That's that's what that's where everything is headed. I'm not interested one bit on the virtual reality part of it. I just that's just not my cup of tea, and I'll continue to say that. But the problem is, again, you know. Oh, no. You put your VR shit on, and there's a slot with your credit for your credit card fucking shit on it. Or a quarter. <laughs> they, they continue on though. We, with the with the VR thing, you know, I mean, I just don't see any future in that. I think it's just a gimmick. But it is what it is. There are people that like it, so so be it. But the like make power pad wasn't a gimmick. To make other to make the 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 other gamers who is not interested in VR to adopt the the system to basically what i'm saying is that um having a tiered system i don't think that's a good idea again will vr be better than this damn i just got pure silence <laughs> uh, here's you guys didn't even dignify that with a response here's here's the thing all right um like you said at the beginning of this video, what's what's most important to, to the folks who are discerning is games. Yes. Um, generally speaking right that's now. That's why I keep asking that. Is, are they going to be better than these? Yeah. I, but that's not the, the thing is, that's not the focus no more. Games is not the focus no more. And it's that's a problem. problem. In the it's game obvious game that games are the focus. The game is not... No. It's not the focus no more. They're the habit gaming industry and not focus on games is just a fucking debacle. That's ridiculous. Yeah, which is part of the reason why, I'm, you know, even with all of the, the missteps and, and mistakes that they happen to make, I'm always going to be a fucking Nintendo fan because that's all they do is games. Games. Now, the interesting thing about the Scorpio is that, and you guys are, have been touching on it, was that, the the more powerful hardware is obviously to go ahead and get the Xbox One um, up on par as a VR platform, and the the device of choice for the Xbox One, if the Scorpio is going forward, uh, instead of being the um, the what was it the um, Microsoft one that we we were, we talked about earlier, uh, what what was it called? Um, Smart glass or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, uh, HoloLens. Yeah, uh, HoloLens. Hololens. Yeah, instead of the HoloLens, actually the um, the VR device that they're it appears that they're they're putting um, they're trying to make the Xbox One Scorpio compatible with is actually the Oculus Rift, um, which means if <laughs> if if it's meant to be Oculus Rift compatible. Um, yeah, the, the amount of horsepower that it's going to be putting out is definitely going to be stronger, most likely uh, more powerful than the PS4 Neo. Um, because the PS4 Neo, as far as it putting its, itself forward, it's going to be able to handle VR just on a very, it's going to be, it's going to be the least capable of all the VR experiences. Now, if you care about that thing, maybe that's something that you can think of. Now, if it is Oculus Rift uh, com compatible and it meets those minimum specs, I hazard to think the price of the Xbox One Scorpio is going to be. Right. Right. It is probably, I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, it is not going to be $499. Uh, <laughs> I will not pay $2,000 to play five games. Yeah. I, I just. I, I wouldn't pay two thousand dollars to pay uh, to play a hundred games. It's just not my style. Well, actually, you do when you add that up. <laughs> yeah, but you, but my point is, I'm not going to buy. <laughs> There's just no way of adding up five games for two grand. <laughs> no. 
I'm not going to do it. I, I'm sorry, I can't. And like I said, VR, I'm not interested in at all. It's just something that, that I don't know, maybe call, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people that's been waiting since the, uh, the virtual boy. I mean, yeah, come I, on now. Even on this, you have the option of turning on and off the 3D on its games. But, you know, like I said, there are those of, there's those people that have. Uh, oh, yeah, they wanted, they wanted that redone. They wanted VR like, since, virtual, since the virtual boy way back when. So yeah. I, why a lot of people are trying to get on board, but it just well, I, certain people weren't even alive when that thing failed. Yeah, that are in the games now. That's why they think that VR is actually the future, and it actually is something. We can remember that fucking debacle of the Virtual Boy, the redness, the headaches, the the non portable thing. Non portable, portable. <laughs> well, the Game Gear was that too. Yeah. But to a point, the Game Gear at least had more than two colors. But the Virtual Boy uh, didn't have the audacity to ask you to put fucking double A batteries in it. Every 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Six of them at that. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Road trip my ass. You can't get out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how. A car battery adapter? I wonder how many fucking... I wonder how many AAA... Triumph's AAA went the motherfuckers. I can't start my shit. Right. That thing had a TV adapter to it, too. And I'm like, wait a second here. Stop! How are you going to take this thing outside to watch TV on it and you can't even play games on it for more than 40 seconds? And it only um, had, like, a two-inch screen, too. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back on track here, guys. Um... <laughs> The, the 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 Scorpio, um, yeah, the price. I have to agree with the Reverend. The price range is not going to be five hundred dollars. I think it's going to float towards eight hundred to a thousand. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but I, whatever. I mean, I don't know exactly what you know. We don't know. And again, it's just rumors. You but, said you know, So I'm thinking of uh, like the fucking a, pr a Price is Right type of game where. The prices is just totally floating up. <laughs> but I agree with you, Grayboss. Yeah, Reverend Grayboss, I agree with you about the price. That thing is not going to be four ninety nine, five hundred bucks. It's no. going to skyrocket. No, yeah, oh, it's, 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 it's confirmation on uh, PlayStation Neo on what the price range is at on that. Does it matter at this? Well, point? actually, they when they said that it's going to cost as much as uh, as the um, as the uh, uh, the PlayStation 4, it's going to be like 400 bucks. Oh, right, because they're going to lower the original PlayStation 4. Yeah, most and likely that's going to happen. So. And then the Neo is going to take its place as far as... And then, yeah. you know, again, you know, what the people who should be really bitching and more outspoken, which there, there are some, are uh, the developers. Because the developers, I mean, when you start making all this new hardware, you know, you still have people on the original Xbox One and on the original uh, PlayStation 4. So you're going to have to make code for that, and you got to make code for the Neo, the Scorpio, whatever the fucking names are. You know, it's, it's, so you're, what you're doing is you're putting a lot of burden on the, uh, on the developers. And then I read an article also saying that, you know, that, uh, that this, they're not, what do they say? Something about that they're not against having a tiered uh, console system, as in you have your lower budget people that want to pay $300 for a console, then you got like a middle class, so to speak, console, $400 something, dollars. and you got the upper people doing the $600 to $800 consoles. And so what's that going to do? You're, one, you're splitting up your base, your, 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 your gamer base. Two, you're, you're putting all this burden on the fucking developers to where they have to make three or four sets of codes just on one disc so that it can be compatible with, with what other people have. It's just a bad, it's a bad idea all around. So again, you know, we've already spoken about this in previous videos. I am 100% against upgradable. Bring in the next generation. Bring in the ninth generation. I, Look, I, it's half, yeah, half I'm gonna, year, every two year bullshit. We don't I'm, do that. I'm going to concur with you on what you just said and put it in a different situation. Imagine that that was said for games. 
as far as that different price tier. Oh, this game sucks, so you hit play this. But this game is great, so you pay this. Yeah. What if they start separating that shit that way? Publishers well, already want to do that. Seven yeah, publishers already want to do that. Uh, exactly. You know, but that, that's that, that's not that's not something that the market is gonna is really really kind of set to accommodate. Uh, that and the fact that a lot of a lot of the the analysts are the folks who think that a, a tiered market system of prices between consoles, if the, a lot of the folks who think that's a good idea, they just don't understand how gamers you know act as no. consumers. Because uh, the know, folks who, yeah, gamers the, are not rich. I'm sorry, we're just not. We no, can't no. Here's, here's the thing. Even years. even the ones that aren't rich, guess what? You know, if, if when it comes to like the tiered the tiered uh, price thing. Um, the, the folks who would spend that that much, guess what? They already got consoles. All right, they've already got the consoles, so they're not gonna, they're really not gonna buy something else unless they're forced into a corner. In which case, it's not gonna happen without any sort of duress. No. Um, or or their shit breaks. <laughs> All right, that's just how it is. Because you know? I like like I said, last video we talked about this. I, I know motherfuckers who will go into deeper debt. To get fucking content, all right. Fuck, man. It's like, dude, you you still haven't paid for your last console that you got off. Oh, of that's right, man. I just want the newest one. I want this one. But it plays the same shit. No, it doesn't. I can see it, it's it's clear. It's it's, it's in uh, 1080p. Uh, so is your other one? No, it's not. This is this is better. This, <laughs> dude, it plays the same. No, 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 no. I'm not. No. Uh, no, I see. I'm getting worked one up. Of that, one of the things that people sat there and, and, and threw out was like, but people are willing to spend like, like you know, uh, they're willing to buy brand new phones every fucking year. Well, that's different. You know why? Because the thing is, is that when somebody buys a brand new smartphone, they're going to pony up a fraction of the price up front, and then they got to pay on their plan for a minimum of two mm -hmm. years. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that's subsidized. Don't do that to fucking gaming. All right. Do not, do not go there and try to do that to fucking gaming. Hey, I got this new Scorpio for you. It's 180 bucks, but you got to get three years of Xbox Live. No, no. At $60 or, a month. Or you could buy it for $100, <laughs> but you got to pay an additional $30 on your subscription fee every month until you pay it off uh, for the next three years. Uh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> no. It's not gonna work. Right. That's what the credit card slide is for. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> the credit card with those fucking stamps. Oh, yes. Man. I see it now. People are like, that's where the disc goes in. No, that's where your credit card goes in. There is no disc <laughs> No! You, they're gonna have the special credit card. They're gonna have a cutout with the for the game, so you have to put the game inside the card and then put that shit in to connect it to your fucking bank account. <laughs> Oh jeez! No. <laughs> uh, like I said, and I reiterate. No, instead of yeah, instead of the fucking credit card stamp strip thing, they're gonna have that slot for the game. You put that shit in, you put it in, and that's and your credit card stripe. That's how they're gonna charge you now. Oh god! And that's how they can check if the game is registered to you in that console or not. I wish we were being completely facetious about that. Exactly. I really we're wish not. we were being <laughs> Can you see that? But we're not. <laughs> I know that. <sighs> and if that shit happens, don't come to me. Look, I can see what direction that they're trying to go because they tried to do it before in more modern fucked up circumstance. We're trying to monitor us and have cameras and mics attached to well, shit. Well, you know, a lot of people think that the whole deal with the 2013 release of the uh, Xbox One, um, that that whole thing was uh, is gone in, in a way, you know, that people are not thinking about that. Bullshit. That's still... Bullshit. That still is live and kicking. They're trying to implement... And again, you know, like all, like all these other YouTubers get on here and talk, you know, you can vote with your wallet. You can choose not to pay for that shit because people, a company's not going to keep putting shit out if they're not going to sell it. Hey, 
look, look at my background. I have all these belts here. If I don't want one, I don't get one. If I don't feel it, I don't get it. Just because I'm a collector of them doesn't mean I'm going to get them all. If something's ugly to me or if it doesn't speak to me or if it's not my style, I'm not going to get that shit just because it's a fucking wrestling belt. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all about being discerning with your funds. And the truth of the matter is, is that um, uh, get used to it sooner or later, folks. Um, uh, condoms for your game accessories – those are going to become really fucking popular, believe me. All right? You won't be able to game raw. That's just how that works. With that, thank you, everybody, for spending the last 35 minutes with us or, or more. Uh, you know, if you're so kind, hit the subscribe button. Like, leave comments below, especially if you think that we missed something. Maybe there's something you want to go us to go ahead and address in another video. We'd be happy to respond, happy to go ahead and bring out a response on video. Um, Check out everybody's channels. Like I said, Grey Mouse has one. Theme has one. I have one. Yay. All right. Uh, we are the three middle-aged dudes just bullshitting about nothing. To wrap up that piece of video game hardware news, that's pretty much it for, for this video. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Grey Mouse one. Hell no. 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 Let's get for the benefits of common sense logic and gaming. Yeah. Um. Game inside credit cards. <laughs> inside <Wow>. VRs. <laughs> Xbox off. Your credit card is shut down. <laughs> Credits. Your PlayStation turns off. <laughs> this is what you got to do with those cameras. Thank <laughs> you.